All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The day is finally here. I was just doing a little bit of raiding and uh, plundering around the world. We're almost back to Ravensthorpe, though. I can't wait. I'm so happy. Strike up a tune. It's always raining when we get back, though. Oh, there's a bridge, okay. Maybe it'll stop raining by the time we make this. No raising the sail here. I am going the right way, right? Yes. I mean, this will, this ship will at least scare the hell out of the Franks too. Game's loading. Sigurd Blot is still underway. Make for the dock. Uh oh. Let's see. Eivor, two visitors have arrived in. Ravensthorpe from Francia. One is a young Norse warrior from Jarl Simric's clan near Paris. And the other seems to be a Frank. They already have built have built us a new guest house from uh, as a gift from Simric's brother Siegfried. I am no seer, but it is obvious something uh, they want something from us. The warrior is a girl named Toka. As uh, has been asking for you speak with them and find out what they really want. Randy. Alright. They bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. Generous indeed. We'll see what they want. No time for Orlog though. Gotta visit our guests in the house that they built. This must be it. There's no door here. We'll go around. Ah, yes, the wolf. I hope they keep the posts here. Oh, that's right. That's a czar's house. Hello, hello. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I am Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrik's daughter, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. 
You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Frankia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. There'll be blood if any here heard I refused to feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravenstorp reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. You would be welcome. Yet you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! I'm so fucking excited. Let's go! Burn Paris to the ground! One can prefer ale to wine. Mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. If it makes me drunk, I'm glad to drink it. Are there no standards anymore? <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So, you have traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensford. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hafton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toka? Every word I have said is true, but there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. We have our own troubles here in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry. Not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain, Siegfried, prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against Winors. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The Siegfried she mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if you will not deal with me, I kill him. 
This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I'll be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorp safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home game. Enough. Toka, we came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. The Raven Clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find here when you have prepared, and we will make for Frankia at once. Thank you. <laughs> Toka said to find Pierre when I'm ready to travel to Frank here. Just hung over? Okay. Uh, let's put something here. I don't know. Is anything here already? No. Well, screw it. It's near the guest house. So why not a giant barrel of mead? Oh, it's kind of positioned right there. Mm. Okay, maybe then something to display a little bit of power. Yeah, that looks better. All right, I'm going to run over to Gunnar's right quick. Grab some... Uh, Grab some arrows. I think I need arrows. Yeah, I definitely need arrows. Maybe stop by Yan Lee. Guna, my friend, I just need arrows. How many do I have? 18. Alright, I'll run up to trade then. Don't have a lot of silver. A couple thousand. I've been slacking on my rating recently. But that's okay. We're about to besiege Paris for fuck's sake. <laughs> Let me see your stores. What have you got for me today? It's a beautiful day out here Only in Ravensthorpe. Why can't I buy all the... Oh. Thought it would just give me the maximum amount I this needed. Was a smart, is that every? But I guess it's not how it's gonna work. I it's... hope to see you soon. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a couple of weeks. <laughs> God, I love it. I wish the festival area would just kind of remain the festival area. Like, it, we can get rid of all the seasonal specific statues and and heraldry and whatnot and just keep like uh like this little shop and the tents and the arena ring because it's fun it's fun to look at all right pierre toka i think it's time we go Yeah. Ready to leave for Francia when you are. Absolutely. Let's show these Franks what the Norse can do. I am ready. Ah, oh boy. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking excited.
fucking giddy. Let's go. Assemble and crows gather again over Paris. All right, Illinois, Illinois. Welcome to Francia. What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles. Believe to me, greatest. Wolf Kissed, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. Okay, Jesus. They've been at war here for a while. I gotta change my cloak back. I, I can't change it at all. Okay. Oh, shit. Village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. All right. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? Hold on. Hold on. Frankish travel hood? Well, that's interesting. I'm going to go with my uh my own armor though. The failure was not all yours, Hoka. Yals are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Quite a bit, but makes sense. Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. No Siegfried way. will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. I don't Scouts think a genocide is too possible. at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. You may not be the best one, but you might be the only one who has to do it. And as Game of Thrones has taught us, he who does not want the crown probably should take it. As long as they don't keep repeating it every five fucking minutes. Seems you all have been getting to work on cutting down trees. It's strange to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. One is enough. Eivor is an army in and of herself. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. Siege engines. Toka, you have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. 
Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, uh, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. This way. Do you lose someone? Look, this music is great already. Got a good amount of warriors, just not an army. Good enough for a raiding party of some size. Our burial grounds. Sinric, my father, lies there with the others. We should go. I mean, at least you're all very well prepared for a siege. Got a lot of catapults. If you pull out a, a trebuchet, I might actually shit myself with happiness. <laughs> there is something calming about it this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. Very well. I will not rest before. Siegfried. You came, Wolf's Kissed. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre yeah, sent word ahead. Your axe would be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor. As Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. I stand with you. I'm only here for my clan. Tell me about the Franks. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric. Dead and dishonored, but I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. Very well, it seems this like the Franks are. Hedar, a more noble beast I have never known. The God of Vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. Sounds good. You placed a carving at Sinric's Sinric grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eikthirni who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. Jesus. So it sounds like this isn't a war, they're attempting to slaughter you all. Well, we might be able to pull what we did at Mercia, kill one king and install another. But we'll just have to see. Look at his awkward walk. It's like he's constantly mad. Ours will be 
will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mugs with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so odd, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Angolan. This is a good night. We're in Frankie last 15 minutes and we're already ambushed. Oh, shit. Cow! Cow! Horses give them advantage. It will not be enough. Don't let the cavalry get behind you! I don't know if that actually did anything. Gods! The cab's gonna be a big ass issue in this, isn't it? It's gonna make me go insane. Where did Angoin go? Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother and your father. I am sorry, Toka. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensvorp. <laughs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. Let's see, I'll convince Charles. Killing his soldiers won't stop Charles. Killing will not solve this. If we take Paris, many of their soldiers will die. Charles knows that. The threat of it will force him to negotiate. That oath-breaking coward will never meet you. Even if he does, his word is worthless. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toka. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. 
If you kill Angelwyn, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Angelwyn to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I'll meet Siegfried there, and return when Angelwyn is dead. Then we will find Charles. Okay. Who the hell is this? Evor, over here. Ursa Major. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? What did it just give me? Letter from Randy. Wait, what, what did he give? Rot in the slums. Speak to Pierre. Uh, Avon Pierre helped a group of Frankish, of rebels opposed the Frankish loyalists. Oh. Oh. Let's talk to Pierre for a second. I hear there are rebels! This is extremely promising. Let's do it! Pierre, what is this about? We have a shared interest. You in resisting Francia's north loathing loyalists, me in getting paid. Those do not seem connected. I am working with a rogue band of men and women across Francia who tire of the chaos Charles's rule brought. Their numbers are small. Few are foolish enough to resist well-equipped loyalist forces. You do not believe in their cause? I do not, but they do. This is where you come in. Help them, and you will have ample reward for your effort. It is strange that you support them while believing their cause ill-fated. What kind of monster would I be if I were to dash the hope they hold in their hearts? Anyway, there is profit to be made, and only a fool ignores that. How can I help? Um, I'll pick a rebel mission. I want to go back to England. Show me what is available. Okay, rebel missions, uh, only one rebel mission can be active at a time as Eivor travels through Francia. More rebels will seek assistance. Okay, open my see the locations of rebel agents. Oh! Eivor is accomplished, uh, on a rebel mission. Eivor is accompanied on rebel missions by rebel allies. With their ranged and melee focus squad to choose from, these rebels will wait for Eivor at the... Okay. Once the rebel mission's obje uh, objectives have been completed, Eivor must return to Pierre or one of the agents. Okay. Well, let's do this one. Nothing to your liking? Well, you know where to find me when you change your mind. Wait, what? What have you... So, oh, oh, it says, okay. So it begins. Good luck, Evar. Okay, so that's what the locations look like. Open world map. It's actually, like, kind of right here. Complete. Hmm. So did the mission not go into my... Ah. Where's my horse? Maybe I can't call my horse from here? Ah. It was just glitched. Huh. How do I get out of here? Let's see, what's on the way? Is there a synchronization point along the way?
Oh my god. I love the music. Listen to that. Hill condition convoy, which is a destination. Oh. Oh my. Okay. So I probably shouldn't stop then. Listen to that ominous shit. That's terrifying. How you say that? I guess it really differs if it's a Norse or a Frankish village. Although I don't really speak any sort of variation of French, so my pronunciation will probably be be probably be abysmal as shit. Oh shit, Arbalists! Jesus, that's chaotic! Alright, how many rebels did I have? Infantry is leveled up. Oh, infamy. <laughs> I misread that. Uh, you have completed a rebel mission and gained infamy with the rebels. Each time you increase your infamy, new upgrades, armor, rune. Oh. Never saw it coming. No, no, they didn't. And that's totally fine. Are they coming with me or are they just going somewhere? I guess they just go, sorta, of, you know, fuck off. Which is good. Which is good. I don't want to have to keep to try to keep track of them while on the road. What kind of sucks is that we can't do multiple of these at once, so we can just kind of hit them one by one while out in the world and then return to Pierre. But it also seems like the patrols are going to get larger too. Makes more sense for Frankia because there's a centralized authority, when in England, mm, it's a little bit chaotic as hell. <laughs> Similarly in Ireland, except there was a high king. Talk to Pierre, then I think we'll go uh, meet with Siegfried. Actually, is there anything I can buy from here now? Since we're in a new DLC, are there any upgrades? Welcome. Oh my god, it's a bear mount! <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with my current mount, but damn. Oh yeah, I also got this for uh, Sunin. Like a black and gold dragon and I love it. I'm going dying. Okay.
We can also stop by the blacksmith too. Oh, sir, stop this in is he yelling at a cat? Why? Why is he yelling at a cat? Good work. Let me know if you're looking for more to do. I did not take you for a lover of cats. I am not. One of the rebels picked it up during a mission. Nearly cost the fool his life. Animals are true-hearted. A cat will be a loyal companion to the end of its life. I doubt it. Felines are crafty, sly. They follow their own agendas. Much like myself. Once he has had his fill of food and drink, I predict a quiet disappearance. Speaking of disappearances, the loyalists grow fewer. Our missions are going well. Am I detecting some sentiment? We are making small change, but it is not enough. And it matters not, so long as we make a profit. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, I need upgrades. I'll How check that out for a second. There? Oh, oh, upgrades for them. Okay. So it was a war. Ranged, ranged reinforcements add one ranged attacker to the squad add one fighter to the squad huh I might have to indulge in this later That's all for now so what will it be I will be back later well you know what to find me if you change your mind Oh wait, let me see. Is there a, oh, there's a sink point right near him? So let's hope it doesn't trigger the mission right when I get to him. This music just fills me with utter dread, for fuck's sake. It really does. Like, it scares me half to death. And if I'm not mistaken, the, the, uh, the Black Plague was also running around around here for a while, too, during this period. Period. How do I get in there? Through the house, maybe? Oh, just one piece of opal? Okay. Hit them in chest below ground, fermentation chamber, hidden nearby. You and your brother used to hide in the shed. Is this the shed? Survey the area, Sunan. Or is this the shed?
good, good. It's growing a bit brighter out. Ah, oh, damn it, I keep doing that. Off we go, boy. <laughs> go over Paris' slums. And we're here. Find and speak to Siegfried. Show me what lies ahead. So he's around there. I'll check in one of those underground chambers, but first I want to grab this before anything else. Oh god, it's just all so creepy when the textures don't load in. to be a bridge or was it an aqueduct what the hell is this thing oh well, we've discovered Paris Oh shit. Did she just say something about Count Odo? I should have figured he'd be in the game when this came out, come out, comes out, came out. Fuck. Fuck, I can't speak. Like I just had a stroke or something. I'm fine, I swear. I do not smell pennies or burnt toast. You don't need to call the, the ambulance, and even if I was, please don't. Those things are expensive and I will go broke. Call me an Uber or something if it ever happens live. Yeah, he's likely down there. Sernan, guide me. Okay. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we will, uh, work with Siegfried. Jesus, look at this. God damn. Love it. All right, but, uh, when we return, we're gonna help out Siegfried and see what else we can do to start engaging Charles the Fat in open war. war. So, I thank so much for watching. If you are new too, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment.